New Horizons Mission Extension The New Horizons team requested, and received, a mission extension through 2021 to explore additional Kuiper Belt Objects, KBOs. Funding was secured on July 1, 2016. During this Kuiper Belt Extended Mission, KEM, the spacecraft has performed a close flyby of 486958-2014 MU69 and will conduct more distant observations on an additional two dozen objects, and possibly make a flyby of another KBO. Kuiper Belt Object Mission Target Background Mission planners searched for one or more additional Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, of the order of 50 to 100 kilometers, 31 to 62 miles, in diameter as targets for flyby similar to the spacecraft's plutonium encounter. However, despite the large population of KBOs, many factors limited the number of possible targets. Because the flight path was determined by the Pluto flyby, and the probe only had 33 kilograms of hydrazine propellant remaining, the object to be visited needed to be within a cone of less than a degree's width extending from Pluto. The target also needed to be within 55 astronomical units, because beyond 55 astronomical units, the communications link will become too weak, and the RTG power output will have decayed significantly enough to hinder observations. Desirable KBOs would be well over 50 kilometers, 30 miles, in diameter, neutral in color, to contrast with the reddish Pluto, and, if possible, have a moon that imparts a wobble. Search In 2011, mission scientists started a dedicated search for suitable KBOs using ground telescopes. Large ground telescopes with wide field cameras, notably the twin 6.5 meter Magellan telescopes in Chile, the 8.2 meter Subaru Observatory in Hawaii, and the Canada France Hawaii telescope were used to search for potential targets. By participating in a citizen science project called Ice Hunters, the public helped to scan telescopic images for possible suitable mission candidates. The ground based search resulted in the discovery of about 143 KBOs of potential interest but none of these were close enough to the flight path of New Horizons. Only the Hubble Space Telescope was deemed likely to find a suitable target in time for a successful KBO mission. On June 16, 2014, time on Hubble was granted for a search. Hubble has a much greater ability to find suitable KBOs than ground telescopes. The probability that a target for New Horizons would be found was estimated beforehand at about 95%. Suitable KBOs on October 15, 2014, it was revealed that Hubble Search had uncovered three potential targets, temporarily designated PT-1, Potential Target 1, PT-2 and PT-3 by the New Horizons team. All are objects with estimated diameters in the 30 to 55 kilometers, 19 to 34 miles, range and were too small to be seen by ground telescopes. Each were at distances from the Sun of ranging from 43 to 44 astronomical units, which would put the encounters in the 2018 to 2019 period. The initial estimated probabilities that these objects were reachable within New Horizons fuel budget are 100%, 7%, and 97%, respectively. All are members of the cold, low inclination, low eccentricity, classical Kuiper belt, and thus are very different from Pluto. PT-1 Given the temporary designation 1110113Y on the HST website, the most favorably situated object, has a magnitude of 26.8, is 30 to 45 kilometers, 19 to 28 miles, in diameter, and was encountered in January 2019. A course change to reach it required about 35% of New Horizons available trajectory adjustment fuel supply. A mission to PT-3 was in some ways preferable in that it is brighter and therefore probably larger than PT-1, but the greater fuel requirements to reach it would have left less for maneuvering and unforeseen events. Once sufficient orbital information was provided, the Minor Planet Center gave provisional designations to the three target KBOS, 2014 MU-69, PT-1, 2014 OS-393, PT-2, and 2014 PN-70, PT-3. By the fall of 2014, a possible fourth target, 2014 MT-69, had been eliminated by follow-up observations. PT-2 was out of the running before the Pluto flyby. The spacecraft will also study almost 20 KBOs from afar.
KBO selection. On August 28, 2015, 486958. 2014MU69, PT1, was chosen as the flyby target. The necessary course adjustment was performed with four engine firings between October 22 and November 4, 2015. The flyby occurred on January 1, 2019, at 033 UTC. Observations of other KBOs Aside from its flyby of 486958, 2014 MU69, the extended mission for New Horizons calls for the spacecraft to conduct observations of, and look for ring systems around, between 25 and 35 different KBOs. In addition, it will continue to study the gas, dust and plasma composition of the Kuiper Belt before the mission extension ends in 2021. On November 2, 2015, New Horizons imaged KBO 15810 Iran with a LORI instrument from 280 million km away, 170 million mile, 1.9 astronomical units, showing the shape of the object in one or two details. This KBO was again imaged by the LORI instrument on April 7 to 8, 2016, from a distance of 111 million km, 69 million mile, 0.74 astronomical units. The new images allowed the science team to further refine the location of 15,810 Iran to within 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, and to determine its rotational period of 5.47 hours. In July 2016, the LORI camera captured some distant images of Kwaar from 2.1 billion kilometer away, 1.3 billion mile, 14 astronomical units. The oblique view will complement Earth-based observations to study the object's light scattering properties. On December 5, 2017, when New Horizons was 40.9 astronomical units from Earth, a calibration image of the Wishing Well cluster marked the most distant image from Earth ever taken by a spacecraft, breaking the 27-year record set by Voyager 1's famous pale blue dot. Two hours later, New Horizons surpassed its own record, imaging the Kuiper Belt objects 2012 HC84 and 2012 HE85 from a distance of 0.50 and 0.34 astronomical units, respectively. These are the closest images taken of the Kuiper Belt object besides Pluto and Ultima Thule as of February 2018.